Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. Nothing has now launched the Phone 2, its first Snapdragon 8 series smartphone and successor to last year's Phone 1. While the Phone 2 contains several performance improvements over its predecessor, Nothing has also made sure that its new smartphone withstands a thorough beating up. The Nothing Phone 2 threw its paces, albeit without using any words to describe the new smartphone. To recap, the Phone 2 combines a 6.7-inch AMOLED display with a Snapdragon, 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset, and a 4,700 May battery. Nothing has equipped the Phone 2 with various other changes compared. To the Phone 1 2, which we have covered separately, perhaps unsurprisingly, the large display in the Phone 2 scratches at level 6 on the Mohs scale of mineral hardness, with deeper grooves observed at level 7. However, Nothing's pre-installed screen protector may scratch quickly in general use. Still, the factory screen protector provides some resilience and will stop the glass display itself from scratching. Additionally, the demonstrates that the Phone 2 has an aluminum frame, making it susceptible to scratches. In saying that, the optical fingerprint scanner can still recognize registered fingerprints even after being heavily scored, which is not always the case on other smartphones. Bend test as well, but not with flying colors. Instead, part of the back glass panel next to the power button pops out when the device is stressed from its display. Seemingly, at least one of its antenna lines is a weak point, but not with catastrophic consequences like on the Pixel Fold nothing went with a 6.7-inch LTPO OLED display with FHD plus resolution and a 1 to 120 Hz refresh rate. The punch hole cutout is now centered and features a 32 MP front-facing camera with a Sony IMAX 615 sensor and support for 1080p video recording at 60 FPS. The main camera on the back now features a Sony IMX 890 sensor 50MP with OIS and EIS image stabilization and updated HDR and motion capture modes. The 50MP ultrawide cam uses the same Samsung JN1 sensor as its predecessor, but also gets advanced HDR capabilities. That is it guys, without being said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video, comment. Thanks for watching, see you on my next video. One piece out.